Hey folks, it's Mark and Bob with Fire Mountain Outdoors. Thanks for joining us today. It's a rainy day, so we are in the shop. We have three Ruger American rifles. We have a Ruger American Ranch, we have a Ruger American Rimfire, and we have a Ruger American Predator. All three of these things have one thing in common that we're going to fix on this rainy day. Stick around. All three of these have a common out-of-the-box problem. What yeah, is that? The, the barrel's not free-floating in the in the stock. So we've got points where this plastic stock is contacting the barrel in multiple locations or maybe one location. Mm -hmm. But we can go and we can take the action out of the stock and we can look at the inside, maybe Dremel or file and try to make that so the barrel is truly free float to get more accuracy out of them. And the other thing that we're going to do that's common to all of these is uh, these are inexpensive rifles and that's because they haven't had a lot of human touch and fitting. There is a lot of very sharp plastic flash uh, all around the edges where this has been milled. And we're just going to smooth that out because uh, that those sharp edges on the plastic make it feel cheap. And it can also be a safety hazard in the field. So every single Ruger American that I've, I've handled has the same issue. So we're just going to smooth all this out while we're at it. All right, let's get started. But right off the bat, we noted that this barrel is not free floated. So in order to check if it's free floated, you want to take a dollar bill and see if you can stick it in there and it's, it doesn't work. Yeah, if you, in case you didn't notice, Mark is a midget and so dollar bills look really big in the same I actually have a regular size dollar bill and if we put it in here, we can, uh, we can see that it's just, I, I can't eat, I can't pull it uh, out the front so we are we're touching really hard here so we're going to go ahead and open that up take the action out of the stock you're going to need a 3 16 hex wrench and so you just go ahead and unscrew those not much to it i'm going to set the action aside and then to free float the barrel I picked a socket that just barely fits in here. I'm going to wrap it with some 120 degree, uh, 120 grit emery paper, finish it up with some 400 grit. And then we're going to knock off this sharp uh, flashing that's on all of the Ruger Americans, just like we did on our Ruger 300 uh, blackout and the Ruger American Ranch. So I've wrapped the socket with the sandpaper so I can get a uniform and even round surface. It's better than just doing it by hand. And we're just going to knock this down to the bottom. And then we're going to reassemble the action into this and make sure that we are clear. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and knock off all of the high spots, the sharp edges, all along the stock. Clear down here to the safety. Switching over to the 400 grit, just to kind of polish it out. Get sharp edges around the bolt. Got some sharp edges and some excess flashing around the magazine well here. All right. 
That feels 100% better. Well, Bob, I think that was about 15 or 20 minutes well spent right there. Yeah, uh, we took these rifles uh, this morning. They kind of felt kind of icky and blah, and now they kind of have a nice uh, custom form-fitted finish that it really should have come from the factory that way. Well, it was, it was almost borderline dangerous, that sharp edge up here. Um, I mean, it, it was sharp enough that it could cut you. It's been bugging me for a long time. I just hadn't had the chance to do it. So I'm glad it was raining. So we just did that to all three of the Ruger Americans that we have and made a huge difference in the Ergos. Uh, yeah. All around the magazine well, the safety up in the handguard, it's a lot smoother. just feels, feels miles better. Yeah, so hopefully we'll see a, a noticeable uh, change in accuracy for the better. Right. Uh, we had the the uh, predator was was binding up hard on the uh, on the barrel, so free floating that I think is going to make significant gains. The other ones weren't so bad, but uh, it's a good it's a good thing we made progress. Yeah. So hey, folks, you can't take back a bullet. You never ever want to wish that you could. Follow the four basic safety rules whenever you're handling firearms, and we'll see you on the firing line. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.